Hello, Terraria Enthusiasts! My name is James, and welcome back to the Calamity Mod! So today is episode 50, so a little round of applause for us. We hit episode 50, which is a big deal, because I haven't hit a 50th episode on a series in a very long time, maybe about two years, which is kind of mental. But welcome back. So in today's episode, I wanted to check out the boss rush mode again. Because I've been playing Binding of Isaac, as you guys know, and that has inspired me to check it out. But apparently, Supreme Calamitous has actually had a bit of a buff. Now, what I believe they've done is they've added in a debuff when you get hit by the flames during the fight. I think it's called, like, Flame Debuff. <laughs> I have no idea. And I feel like, from a glance, I would say this is to combat one of the things that I highlighted in a previous episode about the God Slayer Inferno debuff. So Supreme Calamitous used to give this debuff, and if you use this accessory, you are immune to it. So they had to come up real quick with a new debuff that will negate this accessory instead of removing God Slayer as a whole or maybe like making it completely different. Because I highlighted this and I kind of made like a bit of a, a joke of it and I feel like that is kind of in response. Might not be, but it would make sense. And it's a logical step, so I'm fine with it. I don't mean it in a bad way. And, uh, and it is, it's a clever idea to get around it. Anyway, I'm going to shut up before I, uh, <laughs> before people think I actually think I know what I'm talking about, which I don't. So one of the things I did was I changed our setup. I was rocking with some different setups for uh, a couple of days while I've been away, trying to figure out what would be the best. I'm still not 100% certain on what setup is the best. I'm using Supreme Calamitous Weapons as a, uh, as a baseline. So just to show you some of them, this one, I'm using a DPS meter. If you can hit right in the middle, if you can hit it the right time, it will do a hell of a lot. It's not doing it now. But there is an effect you can get with it, where it's just, there it is. You see that big giant, like, firework explosion? That's insane. Like, compared to this, which if you stand... That's weird. Sometimes when I'm using this new um, accessory, that, sorry, the legendary accessory, this one, my throwing weapons don't seem to actually uh, hit the target dummies. I'm not exactly certain what's going on there, but uh, that's what I wanted to show you anyway, this big firework effect. So, after testing out some of the swords and using different accessories and such, I have found uh, this to be uh, the most damaging because of this uh, explosion right here, that one. It just seems to absolutely melt through some of these bosses. So, this actual boss rush can take around 20 to 25 minutes. It's a very long mode. You kind of forget how many bosses are actually in uh, Calamity. So, I wanted to do this here today with a better setup so that it doesn't take absolutely forever. So, I do kind of intend this to be almost the final episode of Season 4. I feel like it's run its course and I'm very proud of it. And, uh, and I think what I want to do next for uh, for one of the channels, I don't know exactly which channel yet, I haven't fully worked it out, I want to make another Christmas series because I enjoyed it last year and to be honest, I kind of swore blind all year that I wouldn't bring it back to myself because it was, uh, it was hard, like you, you kind of have to make a video every day because if you miss a day, you've ruined the series, which is kind of what I did on the final day, Christmas day, I couldn't make an episode because I had to... Uh, Basically, right, <laughs> this is how it all goes down. My partner got sick on Christmas Eve, so I couldn't work because I was, like, trying to make sure that everything was all right. And um, and because of that, it, it just messed up the schedule completely. So my final episode came out on the 27th. So I swore blind all year that I wouldn't do it. But what really changed my mind was the amount of people that just asked me, are you going to do it? Which is strange because I never get asked to do anything, really. Like, some people say, hey, I'd love it if you do this in an episode. Or they say, hey, I'd love it if you do this, you know, with this game. But I never get asked, so, the Christmas series, is that coming back? And that really, like, meant a lot to me. Like, it's something I was like, that, that is adorable. So I think what I want to do for it, and you guys can maybe help me out with this, is I want to do a Christmas series. If you don't remember the concept, essentially you do one a day, only using Christmas-themed weapons and building Christmassy kind of houses. I mean... Mine are never that great. And what you also do is... Well, that's it. That's essentially it. It's good. It's a fun little run. But I'm thinking about adding the Thorium mod to it. Because the Thorium mod won't affect the balancing all that much. Because it's meant to be a vanilla series usually. But Thorium actually adds in a few different items I think would be very good. So I know that it adds in about four, maybe five Christmas-themed weapons. And I think that's really great. 
and it also adds in an item that will keep it Christmas Day every day. And I think that is a really interesting item to have because that gives you an initial starting goal of actually getting it rather than changing your clock's calendar so that it thinks it's one thing instead of the other. I think this is going to be a good approach to it, but uh, I would love some feedback on that. The problem is, I don't even know what channel to do it on, and this is my fault. <laughs> I don't even know where I'm posting content anymore. I think going into 2019, I really need to figure out what channel's doing what, because at the minute, I kind of see it as this, right? Chippy's Couch, that's our space. I love Chippy's Couch. i tell you why. I prefer the commenters on Chippy's Couch, and I like that the channel is uh, a lot smaller, like, because I can read everything, and, like, you have no idea. When I can't read comments, it just doesn't feel... Like I'm connecting with people, which is like part of the reason I love my series so much. So I kind of see this channel as the talking, communicating, let's playing, modding series, I don't know. And I kind of see the main channel now as like, it's Terraria News, it's fact- What? How was I killed by the bullet? Oh, did I ricochet? No. Because that can happen, right? You can ricochet off the head of it. What? What? That is madness. Come on now, Calamity. That is madness. All right, we're going to go again. I'm going to skip ahead. But yeah, <laughs> I've, I've lost my train of thought, but you guys know what I'm on about. Okay, I'm back here again. Hopefully I won't die. So yeah, so talking about it, Chippy Gaming is... It's the news channel, and it's got like uh, Terraria facts, and... It's got, like, mod spotlights. And whenever I really want to talk about in, like, a shorter topic, you know, a 10-minute kind of job. And I feel like what I want to turn Chippy's Couch into, and I think I should turn Chippy's Couch into, is the variety channel. So we've got our, like, Terraria modded stuff, you know, the long-form content, which I love. Um, but then we'll, like, you know, we'll start doing the Binding of Isaac. Let's continue that for a little bit. Because one of the things I found is that... I'm just, I feel like I'm proper like smiling. It's hard to keep my words out here. Like, I found that every piece of content I've ever done on this channel, people have reacted so nicely to. Like, for example, let's go back to give a real example here. So, I started this channel with Calamity, and people loved it, and it was really cool, and everyone reacted great. And then I did Don't Star for a little bit, and once again, people were awesome. And then I did Mario Kart for a little bit, and people loved it. And I did Zelda, and people loved it. And I did, um, what else have I done here? I've done a few things. I did Cuphead. I didn't finish Cuphead, um, because I basically just was dying to get into Terraria. I didn't really want to record the Cuphead series as much anymore, because I was like, I was passionate about it, but it was a very hard game to commentate over, because of the fact it was so difficult, and there wasn't really much to explain. So that was cool anyway. I was enjoying that. But that went down well. I did a video on City Skylines, and oh... So I feel like, and, oh, and my god, the response to The Binding of Isaac, I had no idea people were as passionate about that game as I was. I thought it was like, I knew it wasn't an indie game, but it's kind of an indie game. But, like, the amount of responses we've had to that, it, it's, oh, you've all been so nice. <laughs> like, you really have. I mean, that's what you want as a YouTuber. You want that, like, I don't know, that peace of mind, knowing that, hey, if I do something a little bit different, people aren't going to, like, chew my head off. And you guys never do. Oh, I love it so much. But uh, but I want to carry on with my modded, though. That's the main thing. I really love Terraria mods. I'm just loving them at the minute. So I think I might do the main Terraria series, this Christmas one on Chippy Gaming again. And then what we'll do is over here, we'll do, like, a mini mod Let's Play and some Binding of Isaac and stuff. And would that be cool? Hmm, I don't know. To be fair, I'm just one of these people that just makes stuff day to day, depending on how I feel. Uh, kind of it. Kind of it. Oh, man. Bumblebird! So what I'll do is, in this, by the way, I will cut some of this out because this will end up being so long. Just like the last Boss Rush video, I did cut a lot of it out because it ended up being just, like, kind of insane. It is such a long event. But anyway, what have I been up to today? Well, if you watched my Binding of Isaac, uh, Binding of Isaac videos, um, you'll know that on Black Friday, I was telling the story of how it's time to pick up a new television. Well, I went ahead and picked up a new television. That's something I actually went and did. It was a 4K one. And now I'm going to bore you all to death with the problems of 4K and the circulation of... This is, this is such a boring topic. Let me get into it, though. So... Let's say you picked up a brand new 4K TV 
and you're like, yes, I want to watch some 4K movies because I've just bought a 4K TV. It's time to watch 4K movies because 4K televisions are getting cheaper and cheaper and cheaper by the year. I love it. So you're like, I want to watch some stuff. What do you do? Well, Netflix, right? Netflix has a bunch of TV shows and movies in 4K. So you're like, all right, that's great. Cool. Netflix is like, right, you got to pay a lot more for that. You're like, right, okay, like, fair enough. I guess better quality, you know, harder for you to stream, I guess. So you pay Netflix a bunch more money and you get some 4K Netflix stuff. Now, let's say you're like, hey, that Marvel movie, that was really great. I want to watch that in 4K. Well, you're out of luck because nobody will do it in 4K. Like, because Marvel don't want to do it yet. So they're like, oh, well, why don't you buy a 4K DVD? Okay, I'll buy a 4K DVD. How much are they? And they're like, well, that's £20 for a DVD. And you're like, well, that's a lot of money. And then you go onto iTunes and iTunes are like, well, we've got all the 4K movies you might want. And we sell them cheaper. You know, we sell them half the price of DVD. And, uh, and you know, you get a bunch of extra. And you're like, okay, great. Cool. I can't wait to watch that. Oh, we're really sorry, but you need to buy a 4K adapter. You know, you need to buy our 4K box. My god, I can't wait until we live in a future where 4K is like the norm and everything is like, you know, it's just crisp and quality. Because people like me with poor eyesight, like, I look at 4K and I'm like, this is 1080p. <laughs> like, in the sense of like, this is 1080p when I'm wearing, um, this is really hard to explain. But like, basically what I'm saying is like, normal TV looks like 720 because of my eyesight, 4K looks like 1080. Does that make sense? That's kind of what it's like. So I can like sit and enjoy it from a much further distance and see a little bit more because 4K adds more details to the image. And those image are, uh, th those details are usually lost on me, but you, you, get the, you get the point. So that's the that's the problem with 4K at the minute. Nobody wants to do it. And then you, wait, last one, you go into Amazon, Amazon Prime are like, okay, cool. If you've got a Prime subscription, you can watch our catalog of Prime movies. Okay, Amazon, which ones are in 4K? Oh, well, we don't tell people which ones are in 4K. Oh, why not Amazon? Oh, we just don't. Why? Oh, have you got a TV show? Yeah, yeah, we filmed this one here. It's called The Grand Tour. It's in 4K. We hope you enjoy it. Oh, great. Can't wait to watch. Is it in 4K? Oh, no, no, no. We don't tell people. Why? <laughs> why not? Let's make a category called 4K. Somebody once commented, I can't believe I watched an entire series of a British man moaning. It's very true. <laughs> Things are either too damn high in terms of price or they break. That's my entire life right now. <laughs> it's a very endearing comment. I don't know. I feel like an old man. I feel like I'm slowly becoming the cloth of ear because uh, uh, I look at things. I'm like, no, we need to do it better. We need to improve it. So we're up to Skeletron. I said this in the last video. I don't know. Actually, wait, did I say this in the last video? Oh, oh, okay, right. So to explain, there was another boss rush video I was working on, but I died at the end and I scrapped it. Now I can't remember if I said this fact. Anyway, these boss rush enemies are actually the enemies, the bosses that Calamity have ranked worst to best on a Calamity poll. Apparently, that's what they are. So just a little bit of facts. That's why they're in a random order. It's because they're voted on by a poll. Apparently, I mean, I read it in the comments. You never know how true that could be. Okay, so I feel a jump cut coming on. I mean, we've got loads of tiers to do, literally loads, so I should be fine. Hopefully I don't die at any point. I feel like if I am going to die, here's my predictions. It's Providence. It's always Providence, isn't it? That's what's going to get me. Okay, cracking on. Okay, so we're on to like one of the, the phases. <laughs> I just thought, you know what? It's probably time to, to just have a little chat again and, uh, and bring it back in. Once you do boss rush, maybe once, maybe twice, you start seeing it for, like, kind of what it is. It's basically, like, a half an hour long bullet sponge, and it's kind of annoying in a way. Like, it's not 100% fun, only because you're kind of outranked. Um, the bosses have just got more health, and therefore, like... I don't know, you don't have to fight them the same way you had to fight them when you did them originally... You just have to fight them for longer. So it can get a little bit kind of tedious in a way. I guess here's not looking good. I'm taking a bunch of damage. So we are definitely getting into the later half of this. And I keep using my uh, my debuff that you get from uh, having this type of armor. Which actually gives a... 
like a little bit of a longer effect. I'll show you. There it is. That's the debuff. And the enemies essentially take more damage for a certain amount of time, I think. I'm fairly certain that's what's going down here. This occasionally heals you. I was unaware of this effect until recently, which is kind of sick. <laughs> like, so this is getting me through a lot, <laughs> and I'm liking that. Okay, so I did go back to throwing. I was using my uh, my Void Dragon for a while, and I was loving the Void Dragon, but when comparing the damage with some of the bosses, it just wasn't adding up to, to what I thought it was going to be. All right, so at the minute, it's ranging 200,000, right? Hopefully don't die here. Let's swap over. Okay, back to the Void Dragon. Let's see if I can land some good hits. So it's ranging 70,000 damage. You know, to a little bit more. Obviously, you've got to be extremely accurate with the bullets I've picked because they're not homing. Okay. Alright, so we're into the final phase of Duke Fishron, my absolute worst enemy. They should be ranked in order of, like, how much does Chippy hate them? Rank them at the top. Because <laughs> that would be uh, an inch. Oh, no! Oh, no! This took, like, half an hour! No, oh, that's kind of good. I'm not, I'm not gonna. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. I don't need to do it again. Right. So to uh, to end things off with, I finally did add a DPS meter. It's, it's something I don't know why I didn't have one for this whole series, because it makes for the best YouTube title. Let's be real. Three million DPS sounds amazing. Here's how I got that result because uh, I did have it in a thumbnail uh, title. Oh, but why? Why can't I do damage to these? Oh, so this is really frustrating because I've had this bug a few times where it just doesn't let you do damage to the target dummies. Do you know what did it last time? Dying. I'm going to start up Supreme Calamitous and die to Supreme Calamitous and see if that actually changes it. Because that's what did it last time. I was basically just like, you know, messing around with this. Okay, so I, I have died. That's over. You must enjoy dying more than you do living. Yeah, I'm, I'm fairly certain. No. Uh, right, let's see. No. Ah, what is it? What's causing this uh, this strange effect? Is it this? I'm going to try die without it on. Let's see if that affects it. Just do that. Nope. Okay, I'm going to try and go over here and die. I, I don't know what's affecting it, so I'm just like making stuff up as I go along. Right. This is the new debuff, by the way. I want to show you it. Okay, so you've got vulnerability hex, and you've also got abyssal flames. Two new debuffs. It's a very interesting combination. And I'm fine with that. I'm happy with that. As long as the hit counter remains gone, I'm happy with them making it harder. I said that the other day. Oh, why won't you let me do damage? I want to show you all the damage. Anyway, it's in it's insane, guys. You'll have to believe me. Oh god god damn. Let's try try putting them out again. Unless I'm just being a complete moron. Unless I haven't just spotted something. Right, let's activate N. Alright, let's make it super slow. Nope. Wait, so that's doing it. Ah, game Y. Alright, I'm going to reload. Okay, let's see. Oh. <laughs> All right, so I think I am going to end it there, guys. I did want to show you some cool little uh, DPS things that I noted. Uh, I did um, end up getting the two swords. So here are the two swords that you can get from Supreme Calamitous. Oh, so you want to work, eh? Well, some parts of it wants to work and some doesn't. Oh, no, that was just the demon. I also got the red sun. I love the red sun. Very nice. Very cool indeed. And I think that is actually about it. So I will end it there, guys. I will say thank you all so much for watching. Um, yeah, it's been it's been my favorite series to record. And uh, and going on from here, I can't wait to do more. I mean, I love Terraria. I can't keep away from this game. It does my head in. I just love it too much. <laughs> People in my real life, like, genuinely, my friends will, like, see me after a while. And they'll be like, so you still doing Terraria? And they'll say it, like, really hesitant, like, you know, kind of cautious what to say. And I'm like, yeah, I love it. I, I, I just love it. I do. I just love it. Right. Anyway, thank you all for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.